to the public before the run of election, if there's any? Ah, uh, no, not possible because we're still working. It is, if, we, if we finish before the run of election, we'll open it. Now, uh, we are working uh, because this is not a facility that would be geared towards one day. So the, um, the technicians have to do the work and they have to do it that this place will be durable and sustainable. But this is what the president is doing. You have the opportunity to choose between service and promise. And this is what we talk about when we talk about service. When the president told you he was breaking Miami, people made joke of it, people laughed about it, but now you have the opportunity to hang out and to feel. You can be anywhere here and you feel you anywhere in the world. And this is what the president has always said he was going to do. And I'm happy to be on his team. Uh, BMC has done a great job. Has up to um, AEP consultant. And together uh, we are making history. I told you before, I moved from my bus, tells me to, and my bus has done it again. President George Minor we are, this is his dream. This is his legacy. We have three different things coming together here. You have the outdoor gymnasium that was borrowed from Senegal. We have the the, the beach uh, uh, grandstand that was taken from Equatorial Guinea. And then the boardwalk that you see here is something my boss, the president, His Excellency George Manawia himself is the architect of what we are doing here because he lives in Miami and now we can also have our own Miami in like Quick Europe. question, Mr. Minister, before you walk to the other side. Uh, I see the road passing through the whole uh, and so area we can take a will be accessible to the public. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's accessible. Time day. Yeah, it's accessible. And so we are here, we're going to walk on the side of you. And you guys are You're watching CDC TV coming to you live from uh, the uh, PSP Park uh, we, we, today, we Minister Chokong uh, Pui, who is the head of, uh, uh, this project, who is the lead executor and, in this entire uh, project, is coming to what we call that the partial view to the public of this identical like facility. It. So we are here to the Miami and now we have Miami what is, in Liberia. What is I can bet anyone that have lived out of the country, they can compare this to anywhere in the West because we we live in the west and we're back home and if we see something that is good we can imitate it and even make it better and come here and the liberian people the ordinary liberian people will have privilege to do it wow so now where are we as we speak mr minister where, where is this uh this is the beach soccer we have the uh beach soccer uh where this is the beach soccer the, pitch that uh, he's uh, making four reference four, five, 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 and we walk, we walk in to the uh, uh, soccer pitch. Uh, soccer pitch? Yeah, 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 yeah. So, so here do we have all the features that you have at the at the Invincible Sport Park? Or this, is this another? This is not Invincible Sport Park. But do we have all the features you have there? Yeah, you have a soccer field right here. And uh, everything the president has done, all his project is unique to itself. And so, if you look at you, you can walk in and now we're almost finishing this. It is this is a, it's a, it's a soccer pitch. Yeah, but it's um, uh, 4 b 4 on construction. No, 4B4, 3B3, uh, 4B4, 5, uh, uh, 4 b 4 3 b 4 or 3 b 3 with goalkeeper. It's short field. So it's, we, it, they are also putting the infield so it's almost done. Now we go to the basketball. Basketball. You're watching CDC TV coming to you live from the PSP Sports Park. As you can see, uh, Minister Pui, who is the lead uh, supervisor in this indelical project, giving uh, media practitioners uh, a view as to how the entire place looks. So we bring into you live coverage, wherever you are, we want to say thank you for joining us. Uh, uh, you are in tune to CDC TV coming to you live. Minister of State, he wants to here. We're going to put all the lights on. You have the privilege to enjoy this in real time. But this is the dream. This is the beach this part of it here, as you can see. Beautifully and well designed. Of COVID, we actually have 
the opportunity to work for four years. But then you have to also subtract the one and a half years of 16 billion losses, which was not true. Yeah. And it, it was just a lot also. of chaos. But with all that, with the limited time, the president always said he's not a person that talks. He's somebody that talks. So we call him talk and do. This is what he's doing. Now, so before go to the one he does again on the other side, I saw motorcyclists in our numbers here. Yeah. And they now, have, what are they doing here? They are coming because people are saying this is not true. They are saying it's politics. So we want ordinary people to have access to this place, although we're still finishing it up. But when you come out and post this, they will say you're working with EFBC, you, you, you're being paid by the government, right? Absolutely. So we, want, so we want ordinary people to come and see you too. But the, the, the video don't lie, the numbers don't lie. So these pictures are not lie to the people like this. This is the a basketball court he's making reference to. Yeah, people say, what are you doing like you? They say, we, we were lying. That's a morning day Miami though. And so this is the basketball. This is the basketball court here. As you can see, these are areas where spectators would be on the grandstand to be able to have a view of what you see. And far ahead of us there, you can also see the beautiful structure that has been laid. You're watching CDC TV coming to you live. Uh, this is what you have here at the PSP Park, at the former Barclay Training Center at the back. You're watching CDC TV beautifully laid out here. Uh, we are here bringing to you what you need to see when we say development in real sense. This is what we have here today. This is CDC TV. Whatever you are, I want to keep sharing this live post, keep sharing this live podcast. This is what we have here. Uh, this is the beach side of this entire place here, as you can see. Beautifully decorated. So, whatever you are, I want to say. This is the ties of the of the sea. This is what he called. Uh, watching CDC TV coming to you live from Monrovia. This is marvelous. This is unbelievable. This is mind boggling. This is one of the beautiful infrastructure that Liberia can boast of under His Excellency Dr. George Manewea. Whenever we talk to people that this man deserves a second term, this is what we're talking about. Wherever you are, keep sharing this live post. I want to have at least over a thousand shares before this live postcard comes to an end. Let the whole world get to see. Let the whole world get to know what is happening here in Liberia. This is a community that is being considered to be a slum community. And it has been turned into one of the most beautiful places in Liberia. This is one of the most beautiful places, one of the most beautiful places one of the most beautiful infrastructure that President Weah has ever developed in Liberia history. If you are a, a follower of Liberia, this place was being considered the Barclay Training Center towards the beach side. As a matter of fact, it has a historical uh, 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 perspective when it comes to our nation history. This is a place where 13 enlisted men were executed. This place has been transformed. This place is being transformed. This place is transforming beyond human imagination. Wherever you are, I want you to keep sharing this live podcast. I want you to keep sharing this live podcast. I want you to see what Liberia is experiencing under His Excellency Dr. George Manawia. We are here today at the PHP Park. This place was inaugurated some part of 2001. Uh, that was in the early times of the the, 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 the the COVID. It was inaugurated. It was officially ground was been broken to have this facility here. 
today this is what we have here wherever you are watching keep sharing this live podcast i want this share to at least a thousand before the podcast comes to an end this is just the beginning of what we intend to do here wherever you are i want you to keep sharing this live podcast let people from around the world let people from around the world let people from the different continents see exactly what president we are is doing in our country we are not preaching politics but we are telling people the reality we want for people to know why this man must be re-elected this is one of the beautiful infrastructure in liberia's history this is one of the most beautiful things that you will ever see when you come to Liberia. It's towards the beach. It's one of the best facility. It's one of the best infrastructure that Liberia can ever boast of. When we say we want him to be re-elected, this is what we're talking about. Fellow Liberians, those of you in and around, I want this live podcast to reach a thousand mark today. Let's make history a viewer. Let's keep sharing this podcast. Let the people get to know what is happening to Liberia, what is expected to happen to Liberia when we shall have elected president we are for the second term. This is one of the beautiful infrastructure that we have here. I want this live. I'm challenging our viewers from the cross. Keep sharing this podcast. Keep sharing this podcast. I want us to have at least over a 2,000 view today as we go live. What, what, what the minister have decided to do, let me give you a brief history now. Or let me just give you some synopsis of what he's about to do here. He wants to create a condition that the ordinary people can have access to this place. There have been myths that nothing of such is being created here. So in a bid to create a condition that people understand exactly what is happening here, he has decided to open a place for the people to have a few. As you can see them trooping their way in, as you can see, he has opened up the gate, he has opened up the facility to allow the people for the people themselves to have access to this place for the people themselves to have a few of what their place looks like so this is what is happening here and when we talk about development in real sense this is what we are talking about this is what we are talking about that we go through, and this is what the president has done. He has transformed PSG for the people. And those people are So what's the name of this? Yes, what name will you give it? If the president has given me, not me. Okay. So when the time comes, then the appropriate name will be given. All right. But uh, you know, most most time we prefer right now the PSG park. The PSG Sports and Recreation Center. Okay. And so. And, and Mr. Minister, how soon do you think that place is going to be open? So this is what we have here tonight. Uh, this is one of the beautiful, the, one of the most beautiful infrastructure that Liberia can ever boast of. Uh, we are here bringing to you live coverage of what is taking place here at the PHP Park. You can see the excitement. You can see jubilant. Uh, He's doing what we call a guided tour towards this entire process to, 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 to the introduction of this entire project. So you can see the community dwellers themselves who has decided to ensure that the community dwellers themselves have a feel as to what this place looks like. So you can yeah, see... We are working for the community that this place lives in have to know what the president is doing. And this is what the president is doing for them. And know that the president is working and he is so high that promise and he delivers on his promise. Okay. All right, so far. He's giving the pedestrian another time, another place that they could walk and have a feel of this identical place. He called this one the boat walk. Why is he calling it a boat walk? Who will want to know? Uh, Mr. Minister, uh, 
viewer watching, we have over a thousand people now watching, following. You calling this our boat walk? Why boat walk? Do we gonna have a boat here? No, no, no. Usually that's how it's called. It's, it's a place where you 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 walk around, you lounge around, and you have the privilege of enjoying enjoying the sea breeze and everything. Yeah, yeah. definitely. He did it for you. Yeah, he did it for you. It's for you. It's for you. It's for, it's for all of us. Now, let me talk to you. What is your excitement? What brings you out today? So what brought me out today? Because number one, we have brought the excitement. The excitement. He brought sea breeze. He made it place so nice. He made the children to be laughing. How long right have you? Now, how long have you? The children around there, right, ready right to enter the place. How long have you been living in PSP community? I've been living in PSP community almost ten years. Ten years. What yes. can you say ten years ago and as compared to today? Right, right now, I'm Jacqueline Wilson, and right now, I'm ready to tell the people that your we are is ready to make the place. You already fixed the place. Yeah. Now the children ready to run in the park. If you ready for children to run in the park, they ready to run. See what I say? Thank you for talking to CDC enjoying. TV. They enjoy. My brother, welcome to CDC TV. Okay. What is your own impression today? Oh, I'm so excited. This is, uh, I'm 41 years of age now. Okay. This is my first time to see this thing in my own country. Okay. And uh, I really want to be appreciated to George Ria. Okay. Yeah. This is my son. Okay. Uh, yeah, it is the first time I've seen this thing. Okay. Yeah, we just see the thing on the TV. Okay. Actually. How long have you been a resident of PSP? Oh, uh, uh, I've moved in PSP since 1992. 1992? Yeah, Bel So we're talking Ryan. about over 22, I mean, 20 years now. Yeah, Busekoro, Kekeya, Saw Beach, all these places. Let me talk to your son. How are you? Hi. Welcome to CDC TV. How do you feel to be out here today with your dad working in this facility? I feel good because I feel that my president, George, we are done a good thing for our country. So have you, have you seen any place that they can like you during your course of your lifetime? No. You haven't? Yes. Thank you, thank you. That was the voice of some residents. We tell, we tell, we tell George we are thank you and we, we we're waiting for Debbie you, and the second so chance. Okay. Thank you. We know that he will do more than what he's doing. Thank you, thank you. That is the voice of our residents of our PSP community. As you can see, this is the, the part the minister made reference to, so he called it the boat walk. We have here beautifully well constructed, guaranteed. This is uh, the PHP community. As you can see, this is uh, these are facilities that you just will have to marvel after when you shall have seen it. This is a facility that you will definitely have to marvel after when you shall have seen it. You are in tune to CDC TV, and we're coming to you live from uh, Monrovia City, PSP community to be precise. And we are here giving a walkthrough of how the PSP community that was once upon a time dilapidated, that was once upon a time referred to as a slum community, can now boast of what we call one of the best and modern facility that Liberia can break about. This is not about the politics that we discuss every day. This is not about how we feel. This is not about which of the political party, but this is about what Liberia as a country can boast for when it comes to infrastructure, when it comes to recreational area, when it comes to what we call the beauty of the city. This is just one. This is a place that will have absolutely no boundary to which of the political party members come here this place will have absolutely no boundary to who will come to visit here, who will come to have a what we call a recreational activity here. That's not what we are talking about. What we are talking about, this is a development that Liberia, or Liberians must appreciate His Excellency Dr. George Manning we are for. This is marvel. This is marvelous. This is fantastic. This is mind-boggling. This is eye-watering. This is what we call development in real sense. So whatever you are, we want to say thank you. Thank you. Thank you for joining us. And do have a pleasant stay and keep following this and sharing this live podcast.
Okay, your name? My name is Lina Gay. Lina Gay, thank you ever so much. Thank you. All right, so that was a resident uh, uh, of uh, this place here. And we are here. The community, the community dwellers themselves are the ones having what we call a first hand view of what is taking place here. So we are here bringing to you this live coverage. Our government, Ali, our Ali can do, Ali can all be played by. This is the facility out here. This is the facility that one would want to appreciate His Excellency Dr. George Manawia. This is a facility here that knows no boundary when it comes to political party. This is a facility here that will see the enrollment of people for different recreational activity here at this place that will have absolutely no boundary as to who comes in and who leaves. So this is an infrastructure that Liberians will remember for the better part of their lives, that Liberians will appreciate for the rest of their life. Regardless of which of the political institution you come from, this infrastructure will be appreciated. No matter where you come from, even if you do not like President we are, but upon your arrival here at this facility, you will definitely appreciate him for once. Make no mistake, this is not politics, this is not about which of the political party is going to win, but this is about Liberia. This is about Liberia. We are I'm seeing the motorcyclist has also been invited here. The cyclist has been invited here and they are trooping their way in in their hundreds to have an a feel, to have an appreciation as to how this identical play looks like. So we are here bringing to you, capturing the scene that is taking place here at the PSP Park. Wherever you are, we want to say thank you for joining us and keep sharing this live podcast. I want to challenge our viewers from across the world. I want you to keep sharing this live podcast to ensure that we have at least up to a thousand shares before the podcast comes to an end. So wherever you are, I want to say thank you for joining us. Thank you for joining us and you are in tune to CDC TV coming to you live. So that was the spokesperson of the Motorcyclist Association of Liberia. Uh, the word of the president has been guaranteed to them. Uh, he said to them they will be the first to have access. Indeed, they are the first. They are here. They are being granted what we call uh, admission to this uh, unique facility here. So wherever you are, we want to say thank you for joining us. We want to say thank you for joining us. Keep sharing this live podcast. Let the entire world see it. Keep sharing this live podcast. Let the entire world know what is happening here at the PSP community. Wherever you are, you are in tune to CDC TV. We want you to stick and stay, stick and stay, and have a and have an appreciation of what is happening here.
have you there, guy. Take that for seal. Yeah, let him come. Driving on this road, the famous, the infamous Redemption Road, where you will see some ice and the place all smelling and stuff and what have you. But today, see, it's this kind of a thing. Fresh air, you take it fresh air, you see the kind of a development that is doing on the I think it is a great job done by the president. We should commend him for that. I think it's a great job done. You are a young man and you have followed the Liberian politics in history. This identical redemption rule, as it was formerly called, has a history. What can you remember about this identical area here that you are currently standing? I'm still be corrected. This is where uh, some officials of the government uh, who were presumed corrupt, got killed, on similar of killed and stuff. I'm from the beach here. Uh, that's why I say infamous because whenever I think about that, you know, it brings back fresh memory of some of the things that went on. But today, see this. Uh, Kind of a mammoth and gigantic development being carried on by the president. I think it's worth being commended. I think the president is doing well. I think uh, we, if we have some of his lieutenants, like the minister of state, with our portfolio, or workaholic minister, who will be there to make sure and show that the president, what that he's trying to do in the country, they are all being carried on by some of these workaholic lieutenants of his. I think the minister is doing well. I want to say thank you to the president of transforming this site. I used to be seen as a site of, of diet, but today come here. See this. And when I saw first saw this thing on Facebook, I thought somebody said it was like a uh, paragraph or Sweden or or France. But this is Liberia. I'm seeing this basically. I'm, I'm astonished. Even I'm dumbfounded, my brother. To so see this kind of a place being transformed to where it is today. So it's what will you say to those? who felt that it was not possible, it is not possible that what they have seen on the Facebook is real today. What do you say if to you them? If you have a leader who doesn't have the vision of doing some of these things, it will not be possible. But I think we all have the vision, and that is what I have said to my friends and whosoever. You are witnessing me like, I have made myself very clear. George Ria will have my support for his re-election. I'm clear about that. Very clear about that. He has my support for his re-election. He needs to continue. What you have started doing already. We want to say thank you for talking to the, the media. Thank you very much. That's my side. Number two is the sign. Number two. That was the voice of Sylvester Tevin now. Uh, he happens to be an activist. Uh, they, they, they own uh, the run and own the the, 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 the Center for Intellectual Opinion, one of the, the biggest intellectual centers in our country. He was just talking to uh, the media here. We want to say wherever you are, thank you for joining us. We want to keep telling our people here, this is not about the politics that we talk about every day. This is not about the politics that we want to preach every day as to who is doing what and what is doing who. We are talking about what we call real development that one can feel, taste, and touch. One can have what we call absolute access to. And this is a project that will have absolutely no political demarcation. Whether you belong to a party X or Y, this is a facility that will incorporate you. This is a facility that will host you. This is a facility where you bring your kids out for recreational activity. So it should not be that president, we are the one doing it, so you feel offended. This is about Liberia. This is the kind of development we long for in, in our history. And to see what we've seen here today, trust me, it's mind-boggling. And it's just beat our imagination as media practitioners to be out here. 
right, so folks, uh, we take you all over. Like yes, uh, we 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 continue in our food walk. We want you to have an access as to how the entire yeah, yeah. corridor looks like. So we'll be bringing to you live view here. You can see the ordinary people have come. Those that we consider to be the back riders. These are people that live in the different communities. They have been granted access to this facility that they themselves can be what we call the witness. They can be the witnesses to what this infrastructure looks like out here at what we call once upon a time a slum community at one of the dirtiest places that you can find. But today, history has been made. History has been made. So we want you guys to please share this live. Share Keep this sharing live. our live podcast wherever share you are. It, share it. Keep sharing our live podcast because we want the entire world to see and to know exactly what is happening here at the PSP community. Wherever you are in central Monrovia, if you are anywhere closer, we want you to run. I mean run, make your way here and come and see what we are talking about here. We are on live, but we want you to make your way to come and see in person. Come and see in person. So it cannot be the same. It cannot be, oh, I saw you on Facebook. Come and see. If you are anywhere in central Monrovia, brush you around the Ministry of Finance, you can hop on a motorbike, come here. Even somewhere around people, you can make your way. You can definitely make your way, and you will definitely be granted access to come and see what President Weir has done yet again for Liberia when it comes to development. All right, so we hope you guys share this live, share this live. We're having a wonderful time here. A very wonderful time. And, and like my and brother said, that, you know, this is for everybody. It is for everybody. Party A, party B. So, it's somewhere that you will come and get recreation, especially for those who want to exercise. Thank you. It's one of the first of the kind. Yeah. That you're going to come here, enjoy yourself, and we're going to take you to the stores. De we're definitely. Yeah, we, we were told food. that these are the stores. They're going to have our juices here. Yes. Everything you need gonna be right here, and Liberia gonna run this place. So it's, that's why it's, we it's, want it to is, and, and we go. Yeah. It is for our kids. Yeah. Many a time we look for decent outlets. Yeah. We look for decent place to bring our children. Most people go for vacation outside. Thank you, because yeah. they are looking for a place for their children. Yeah. But today, that is going to be history. Now, afterwards, when that place have been officially open to the public, that is going to be history. You do not need to take your children out of Liberia anymore. No. no. Because what we are seeing here yeah. is just mind boggling. Yeah. Let's yes, let's like let's let's like yeah. the minister will call it the boardwalk yeah. area. The so board our people can have access to what we are having here too. Let's go to the boardwalk. And and we go what is excited about this place? Yeah. I mean I'm sweating because just to, to walk from one end to the other end yeah. is quite a very long distance, you know. Yeah. This the facility is extremely yeah. big. Yeah. Yeah. You can see the excitement is everywhere. Everyone who have come out here to have a glance of this place have a smile that you can really appreciate that President Weir has done something. Look at what has been done across here. This is the beach. This is where you can come and stand and have an appreciation of nature. This is where you can come and stand and have an appreciation as to what level of work that is being done here. What you see here is just not an ordinary work being done. According to what Minister Kui said, this is what we call, there's a name he called him. Uh, it's coming to mind okay. to have this identical work done because they had to go extra mile to ensure that these rocks go beyond the ground to be solid enough that the wave of the sea, they call it the speed breaker or the, yeah. wind the wind breaker. That's exactly what you see out here. This is specifically at the beach side. So this facility you can rest and show it is no danger to the sea because it is adequately prepared i mean protected i see two beautiful ladies please come and talk to the media please oh, talk to us please talk me to me us me me why are you angry why are you angry see you how are you no it has nothing to do with politics absolutely so why are you here you don't want to talk to us <laughs> no it's not being fair I know, but it's not being fair to say it is about politics. No, it is not. Come. Yes, you are. You are. Listen, listen, come. Let's have the conversation. Come. Yes. Talk to us, man. Talk to us. How do you feel? No, how do you feel? Let's be honest. Politics is how do you feel? Okay. Okay. For the labyrinth people, can't take that work. 
But no matter what can say, oh, I see. The reason why my, my own opinion, uh -huh. my, the reason why I'm saying that, you are told why you are opening the pound to say more. I'm not to say more. Let's say, why are you opening the pound? So, so, so that's, that's the information you need to no, get. No, now, let's see now. So that's that's oh, where is we are? Let's see. Let's see. Let's get you the information. She's excited though. Why the suit as she expresses? She says beautiful. Oh yes, she she, she has appreciated and the it. She made that the past Nigeria officially open. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Today they gave people the right to come and, and have a it. view of the place yeah. that they can have an appreciation as to what is expected the to be here. Still working. Yes. This place here? as as yes. So definitely. It's so what they say being done. But they just want for people to have an appreciation of this identical place. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so we're right here. Uh, I think we're going to go to the minister again. Yeah, you can see the crowd keep pulling around him. And the excitement continues out here. And uh, we, 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 we bring him to you live coverage of what is taking place here at the PSP Park. Uh, We are here bringing to you live coverage of what is taking place here at the PSP Park. You're watching CDC TV bringing to you live coverage of what is taking place here at the PSP Park. Wherever you are, far and near, you can definitely make your way at the PSP Park in central Monrovia towards the beach, right behind the barracks. And you will definitely have an appreciation as to what is actually out here. You're watching CDC TV, and we're coming to you live from the city center, the nation's capital, Monrovia. The excitement keep arousing here. The excitement keep arousing here. Residents of PSP community are the one out here to have an appreciation of this identical facility. Wherever you are watching far and near, keep sharing this live podcast. Keep sharing this live podcast that our people will have a few that our people will have an appreciation, that our people to know, our people will see exactly what we're talking about when it comes to development. This is the basketball court. You can already see folks are already there, enjoying themselves, having appreciation of this identical place. They are already all here engulfed into this identical place. The excitement is everywhere. The excitement is everywhere.
The kids have all gathered here and this identical area is specifically open for them. As soon as this place is pronounced officially open, the kids are going to be the first to have an appreciation of this identical place. Uh, this is what we have here. This is one of the protective areas that you can never find when it comes to water beach. This place was beautiful and nicely protected from sea erosion. You can rest assured that this identical place is not going to get uh, uh, eroded anytime soon because of the level of work that was being done there. The rear engineer themselves, the engineer themselves took their time and was able to do what we call uh, one of the best engineering work that was being done to this identical facility. So wherever you are watching, we want to say thank you for joining us. Keep sharing this live podcast. Keep sharing this live podcast. Keep sharing this live podcast. Uh, we are here at the PSP community in central Monrovia, bringing to you live coverage. Wherever you are, we want to say thank you for joining us. Wherever you are, you want to say thank you for joining us. Folks are all out here celebrating in Grand Star. Folks are out here celebrating the excitement. This place is yet to be open. That is the argument here. Who should come and open this place officially? Is it something that you want? Uh, the incumbent to do that he has started. That is some of the conversation that is ongoing out here at the PSP park that is yet to be officially open. You are watching CDC TV and we are coming to you live. PHP Park, the PHP of yesterday is not the PHP of today. The PSP of 12 years ago is not the PSP today. What you can see here is moth watering. It's just unbelievable. So uh, the residents of this identical community have come out here to have an appreciation of what is taking place here. So we are bringing to you live coverage of what is taking place here. Wherever you are, we want you to stick and stay. Keep following CDC TV as we bring to you this live coverage. This is what we call beauty at its best. Beauty at its best. Beauty at its best. So we are taking a walk now to complete this identical live podcast to give you an appreciation and a view as to how this entire play looks like. Whatever you are, you are watching CDC TV. We're coming to you live from uh, the PSP Park in Central Monrovia. You want to come and talk?
Oh, come, 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 come have a conversation. Uh, welcome to CDC TV. I'm seeing you out here and you seem to be excited. What, what is excitement all about? So we are out here at the PSP Park. This is one of the best. This is what we're talking about here, as you can see this component of this place. This is what we call a complete protected area. You can rest assured that this place is not going to be eroded anytime soon. Because this is highly protected. This is highly protected. A well constructed engineering work were being done here. This is what we call the unity pool. Uh, sometimes when this place was under construction, the unity pool will be spoken about. But we'll keep that for the official opening of this identical facility. So we are here bringing to you. This is what you need to know here. Okay, we we'll call it the, the revetment wall. That is the name I was looking for earlier on the revetment wall. This is a wall that is being squarely built for the protection of the erosion. This is a wall that is being built for the protection of this identical facility. So it is not going to be eroded anytime soon. It is not going to be eroded anytime soon. It's not going to be eroded anytime soon. So these are the facilities that you are going to see out here. This is what we are talking about here. So wherever you are, we want to say thank you for joining us. This is how we want to come to an end of this live podcast here. You're watching CDC TV. This has been a CDC TV production, bringing to you this live podcast here of what we call a, 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 a visitation of our community's dwellers to have, an, to have what we call an appreciation as to how this entire facility looks out there. There was been, it was being rumored that what they have seen on the social media, what they have seen on the Facebook is just not true. But today they have come for themselves to have a few, to have an appreciation as to how this identical facility looks. So today we have come to you live, bringing to you this live coverage of what this place looks like. We want to say thank you for joining us and do have a pleasant stay. Thank you for joining us, wherever you are watching this live podcast. We want to say thank you. We want to say thank you. We want to say thank you. We want to say thank you for your share. We want to say thank you for joining this live podcast. We want to say thank you for sharing this live podcast. To all our viewers from across the world, we want to say thank you. This is what we have here at the PHP Park. This is what we have here at the PHP Park. This is what we have here at the PHP Park. We want to say thank you for joining us and do have a pleasant stay.